Welcome back to Booze and the Rocks. My name is David Edwards. And today we're going to use these to go where no man has gone before. Yes, that's right. Romulan Ale. But first, this. Alright, let's get into some history. Now, Star Trek was dreamt up by former Air Force pilot Gene Roddenberry. Now, the first television series appeared in 1966 from NBC and it followed the voyages of the Starship USS Enterprise on its five-year mission. The mission to explore strange new worlds, to seek out new life and new civilizations, and to boldly go where no man has gone before. Star Trek has been a phenomenon for decades. It has spawned a group of followers called Trekkies, Trekkers, Trekkers, whatever. And let's face it, I'm a fan. Live long and prosper. Now, Star Trek has produced multiple movies, series, books, and comics. And let's face it, whether it has Razzie caliber acting, Shakespearean pontificating, or just pure badassery, Captain Sisko, Star Trek has pushed where no show has gone before. And that brings us to cocktails of which there are many, including the granddaddy of them all, Romulan Ale. Romulan Ale has a long history in Star Trek canon, and although this blue-tinted alcoholic drink debuted as far back in the original series as The Enterprise Incident, it wasn't named until Dr. McCoy gave Captain Kirk a bottle as a birthday gift in Star Trek The Wrath of Khan. From there on, they got name-checked in three more films and several episodes of The Next Generation and Deep Space Nine. So let's get into making Romulan Ale. So the first thing, of course, I'm going to need is my mixing glass. Now, Romulan Ale should assault the senses and get you excessively drunk. And that's one of the reasons why, because of tr also trade restrictions, it was considered illegal in the Star Trek universe. But captains and uh, Starfleet personnel love the stuff. So what we'll do is we'll use two ounces or 60 milliliters. Now, of course, Everclear is a 76% grain alcohol, okay? Some places it's actually sold as a cleaner to get past the uh, taxes. We also need blue curacao, and we need one ounce or 30 mils. Now again, we're using McGinnis uh, blue curacao here. This is an orange liqueur. Da -da -da. I also need one ounce or 30 mils of Where'd it go? Lime juice. Now we're gonna give this a little bit of sweetness, so we're gonna give this one ounce of simple syrup. And this is a one-to-one -one simple syrup. And just a splash more. I'm gonna add some ice. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shake this. Okay. And we'll shake this for a good 10 to 15 seconds. But I also need my glass. And you know what? I'm gonna put two ice cubes in here. I'm gonna put two ice cubes in here. Ah, you know what? I'll add a third cube just because it looks good. And you normally wouldn't put any uh, ice cubes in your ale, but let's face it, a cocktail is also got to look good as well as taste great. Look at that color. That is Romulan Ale, if I don't know what it is. And this is gonna be awesome, it's gonna be strong. Let's smell it, it should assault the senses. Okay, it's not very assaulting at the moment. Let's taste it. That's really good. I'm not assaulted at all, or insulted. 
If this is the way Romulan Ale truly tastes, I can tell you this is exactly why Starfleet officers went nuts for this. Mm -mm -mm. Romulan Ale. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a list of the ingredients and the method of how to make this in the description down below. If this is your first time to our channel, please hit the subscribe button and make sure that you hit that bell notification. That way, every time I put up a new video, you get notified. But if you don't like Star Trek and you don't like the idea of Romulan Ale, hit the thumbs down button twice and we'll see you next time. Live long and prosper. Welcome back to Booze and the Rocks. I need ice. Welcome back to Booze and the Rocks. All right, so let's get into the history of Romulan Ale. Now, Star Trek has... Ah.